Hey moviegoers, let's talk Rogue One. Rogue One was directed by Gareth Edwards and it stars Felicity Jones, Diego Luna, and a bunch of other people. Rogue One is the story about how the Rebellion learns of the Empire finishing the construction of the Death Star. And some people in the Rebellion want to surrender, others want to just run away, but some want to fight back and figure out how to destroy this thing by stealing the plans. And basically the whole plot can be found within a sentence of the opening text crawl of A New Hope. And it's basically all about hope. So as someone who truly loves Star Wars, it is like part of my past, so ingrained in my childhood. I grew up with it. I love it. I really love the fact that Rogue One is the original Star Wars for a new audience, mm -hmm. while still making an even deeper connection with those that, like me who have already seen and love the old ones, yeah. the original ones. Yeah, growing up with it, nostalgia plays a big role in which ones you like the most. Um, I grew up mainly with the prequels, like being the new movies. I was originally introduced to Star Wars with the original trilogy, but the prequels were what I grew up with watching. But this by far is the best prequel. I was a lot more happy with this one than I was with The Force Awakens. Yes. What, what I hoped Force Awakens would deliver and kind of failed on, this one just took it to the next level. Mm -hmm. And it was exciting. It had good characters, great story, and I couldn't stop smiling the entire movie, to be honest. <laughs> they had some really, really great tributes to the original. Um, there's some subtle ones, there's some in-your-face ones, but they all play it off so well where it's not annoying. It is just very well placed and it really, really just makes the inner Star Wars person love it. Yeah. <laughs> they did such a good job at connecting the prequels, mainly episode three, to episode four. It was so... It was, Just, it was flawless. Yeah, I don't know if you necessarily had to have seen the original to enjoy this movie. No. Because it seemed to be its own separate story. You could get the gist of what was happening. There were some placements of, of tributes and homage being played so that the original fans of Star Wars would catch them, but somebody who may not have ever seen the original ones or know them that well could just enjoy it as is. So. Yeah, it's definitely focusing more on the war part of Star Wars, which is great. You know, you get into the deep spots of the Rebellion and the Empire where during the episode movies, you don't get that. They're just kind of glossed over and just kind of pushed to the side and, you know, we just accept that. But this one really delves deep into those stories and I really appreciate that. So not only was the story really great, but the acting in this was amazing. Like, they pulled it off so well. There are so many characters that you just can love so quickly and get attached to so quickly. And when I go to movies, I watch them with the view of, I'm going to nitpick all of the shots and sequences and acting and behind the scenes type of things. Oh, they should have done this differently. They should have done that differently. Oh, that was a bad edit. Oh, that was a bad edit. Um, that was a terrible line. Why would they do that? But watching this one, I wasn't thinking about any of it. I was just so enraptured in the story that I just completely forgot that I was watching a movie. Yeah. Which, for me, doesn't happen a lot. So I really enjoyed that. Yeah. And for a, just a spin-off movie where the majority of the, well, all of the core characters are brand new mm -hmm. to the franchise, you immediately <laughs> kind of know what they're about. I mean, just quick little hints at their background is like, wow. I like this character. And, and in this one, they're not flat characters. No. They're definitely, you can see the complexities right away. And so you're not just watching, you know, stereotypical, oh, that's the comic relief character, and oh, that's the, you know, hero. While you do see that, mm -hmm. it's also kind of like you're still watching and seeing what they're doing and their motivations behind their actions. Yeah. And it's just really enjoyable. I loved it. Yeah. And Alan Tudyk playing the droid character K2SO. He was great. 
I thought, seeing the previews, I thought he was going to be an annoying droid character talking about the odds like C-3PO did. But it worked to their advantage, kind of making fun of C-3PO. From the trailers, you expect it to be, oh great, they're trying to make another C-3PO. And what is this going to turn into? Is he going to be annoying? Is he going to be, you know, the whatever? And... I loved him. Like, he was the comic relief, but in a way that was intelligent and fun, and he was cool at the same time. Yeah. So, all of that together, his character was amazing. The visual effects in this movie are just incredible. When I saw the first few previews, I was a little nervous that we were only going to get a couple shots of the X-Wings, but I was definitely very happy with how they used the X-Wings. And in some of the previews, you do get some glimpses of Y-Wings, and they do play a role. And it's very refreshing to see because that was one of my gripes about Force Awakens is they only used X-Wings, and they only used the regular TIE Fighters. It was very bland. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that they take the original ships from the original Star Wars and make them look amazing. Mm -hmm. um, whereas in the original, you know, they're models, and they're, for that time, were great yeah. but I love how they can use newer technology to make the old um, models so great in the fact that they're where the way they fly the way they stop the way they go into light speed um, just the way they're utilized throughout the whole thing is just really really cool yeah and I have to say I'm very happy with how director Gareth Edwards treated this movie and coming from the background of Godzilla, I think that he really got a sense of how to show scale. And you see how huge the Death Star is. You see how big the Star Destroyers are. And even uh, the shots of the AT-ATs, which I think in this movie they're not AT-ATs, I think they're AT-ACTs, which is really weird. But you get a sense of how big and menacing they are in this movie. And it's just so cool. The way they place the different uh, elements of a story in here is really, really well done, where you have the emotional moments happening, but then there's a quick-paced um, action sequence that you know what's happening and you know what's going on, and it gives it time to develop while at the same time keeps it moving throughout the whole thing. And it's just, again, really enjoyable to watch. So let's talk a little bit about Darth Vader, because... As we all know from, if you've seen any previews, we're not going to spoil anything, Darth Vader is in the movie. Um, and I wanted more of him. I wanted him to be in almost every scene of the movie. But obviously you can't do that because he's the villain. But what the movie lacks in quantity with Darth Vader, it makes up in quality. And I, I loved what he brought to the story. So without spoiling anything, I think that was one of the only complaints I had about this movie is the very first shot you get of Darth Vader. It was very underwhelming, and I was disappointed. However, it gets better. It gets much better. <laughs> That's all we can say for now without spoiling anything. There's so much more we have to talk about, and we're going to be releasing another video in the next couple days where we go into spoilers and we just talk out the movie. Um, but this movie is by far the best prequel Star Wars movie we've gotten. It's in the top two or three of my favorite Star Wars movies. Um, the acting, the characters, the CGI, the story, it's just brilliant. And I give Rogue One an A+. It's just a fantastic movie. Go see it, guys. I also give Rogue One an A+. This movie, I cannot recommend it enough, whether you're a uh... Hardcore Star Wars fan, whether you're new to the franchise, just go see it. It was so enjoyable, and I loved it. So what did you guys think of Rogue One? Did you like it, love it, or hate it? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up. Check out our other movie reviews, as well as our trailer breakdowns, and be sure to subscribe for future videos. As always, thanks for watching.